Hey folks, today I want to show you how anyone with the Visual Studio Profiler and Integrated Copilot can make any software faster. This is a great way to reduce compute costs and make your customers happier. To start, I've grabbed the Sharplib Zip project from GitHub. This is in the 100 most popular packages on NuGet with tens of millions of downloads. So a very popular package used by many developers and probably pretty heavily optimized, though I want to see if we can make things a little faster. I've gone ahead and I've cloned the repository and conveniently it has benchmark.net benchmarks. I've added the VS Profiler's benchmark.net diagnoser NuGet package, which integrates with these benchmarks, giving us a profiling trace each time the benchmarks are run. From here, I'll go ahead and I'll run the benchmarks to get that trace. After running my benchmarks, I can see it takes on average of 138 milliseconds. And I wanna go ahead and I wanna see if I can make this faster. Unfortunately, I don't know a whole lot about this code base. With Copilot's help, I think I can make this faster. So I'll go ahead and I'll select my benchmark and I'll move over to the CPU usage tab and I'll get the normal summary results that I would see where it shows top functions, hot path. And under top insights, we don't have any automated insights that automatically found things, but I can ask Copilot if it has any insights. And so Copilot goes ahead, it asks the profiler for the source code. It's gonna ask about the performance information of various methods, which things it should look at. And right away, I can see that it has a insight that there's this slicing degree is tuned to match the CPU cache for better performance. And so this seems really interesting and I wanna go ahead and I wanna follow up with Copilot. So I can click on the Ask Copilot link and we're gonna follow up and see basically how we can tune that to the cache. Copilot talks about the cache and it talks about L1, L2, and L3 cache. And it says I could determine the size of the CPU cache, commonly 32K, 256K. I could select a value that ensures each chunk fits within the cache. So if it's 32K and it's one byte element, I should use a 32K long cache. I'm gonna click this slicing degree and it's gonna show me exactly where that is. And so it looks like it's a power of two. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna update this to 32, like it was saying. Now that I have those benchmarks, I can go ahead and I can rerun it and I can see what the impact of that change is. I'll rerun it. And so this is awesome. After applying that change, I've nearly doubled the performance of this benchmark, uh, which is great. Copilot helped me kind of pinpoint exactly what I can do for the most amount of impact. What's even more interesting is I can follow up with Copilot afterwards to have a continued conversation. I can say, awesome, this looks like a double performance. Now that we're using a larger slicing factor, how will this affect memory? And what's great is Copilot will explain what the impact of that change is. You can see it talks about when it generates a slicing table, how big that is. It's 256 times the slicing degree. So it shows me the number of entries as I turn up that slicing degree and how that would impact memory. And so basically how are we satisfying the trade-off for CPU and memory? And so with the VS Profiler and Integrated Copilot, I've been able to double the performance of code I'm unfamiliar with. The quick inner benchmarking loop makes it easy to try different experiments, iterate with Copilot, and deliver value easily. Try giving it a shot yourself today in the latest version of Visual Studio.